Hey guys, this is Warren at Westcott Designs and today we're going to show you how to install our ditch light brackets on the 24 Land Cruiser. First step we're going to be doing is getting some protective tape just to put around the border of where we're going to be installing the ditch light bracket. Next step is we're going to grab our template that we provide and we're going to cut it up and place it where the ditch light bracket will be installed. Once we've placed our template accordingly, we're going to punch some holes just to make sure everything is aligned properly. To make the holes a little bit more defined, you can grab a marker and mark where you poke the holes just so it's easier to see. Once you're happy with the holes you've made, you can then start drilling. Once you've drilled the three holes, you're gonna then remove the plastic part here with like a plastic removal tool. We do recommend going all around this plastic piece just so that way nothing gets damaged or ruined. Next, we're gonna be drilling into the frame of the vehicle just to make sure that we can fit the rib nut accordingly. As you can see, the rib nut fits perfectly. Just grab a wrench and get to drilling. Next step is drilling the holes within the plastic piece that we took off earlier. Lastly, you wanna just make sure that the ditch light brackets holes line up with the holes on the plastic piece. If all things are done correctly, they should line up and you should be ready for this next step to actually put this on the vehicle. Begin by finger tightening the screws onto the frame, one screw at a time. Once both bolts are screwed in, then you can start tightening them up. Next step is removing the door panels so that way we can wire the lights into the vehicle. We're gonna be removing these plastic parts here. Slowly but surely be very careful to get in there and remove those pieces. You can then unscrew the screws that are there. Next step is getting a plastic removal tool and go along the sides or the perimeter so then you can remove it with ease. Be very careful when removing them because there are wires connected still. So go in the back of the panel and start unplugging the wiring as shown in this video. Once all the wires are removed, you can then finally remove the door panel. Next step is removing the little plastic piece in the corner, so that way we can run the wiring through these holes. As you can see, this bracket for the light is going to be very nice and tucked in, making it a very low profile ditch light. Run the cable through the hoop and you can also then run it through the hole into the door. 
tighten the screws on the top and bottom. Once your lights are fully installed, you can then push the wire through the hole and on the other end, you can go ahead and pull it. Make sure you pull all the way so that we have no wire sticking out of the outside of the vehicle. Next step is gonna be removing the speaker. There's gonna be a plug that you have to unplug along with the four bolts attached to it. In the back side of the door panel, there's a little hole that you wanna make room for. Pull out the little plastic rubber piece. Once removed, you're then gonna drill a hole into this section provided in the video. This hole is gonna allow you to fish out the wiring for the light. You're then gonna push the wire through the hole down into the speaker area. You're not gonna pull it out of the speaker. You're gonna actually push it back in and you're gonna push it out of the hole that we pulled with the plastic rubber piece out behind the door. As you can see, we're pulling out the wire behind the door so that we can fish this wire into the fender area of the vehicle. Make sure to pull the wire as much as possible so that way all we have to do left is match up the wiring and make our little cut. Next step, we're gonna be making a hole into the fender. So what we're gonna be doing is using a blowtorch onto the screwdriver and just poking a hole so that way the wire can fit through it. Now under the hood, there is this plastic panel that we're gonna be removing, very easy to remove. You just pull it out of the way so that we can pull out the wire that we made the hole for. Now going back to the door panel area, we're going to be stripping out the wires so that we can connect them. Make sure as you're cutting them, you make a clean cut. Make sure there's nothing that's obstructing the connection and you can go ahead and take out the white wire as we're not needing it. We're only going to be using the red and black wires. Once everything's been cut, we're then going to be connecting both ends so that way we can power the lights. The red wire is going to go with the white wire and the black wire is going to go with the black wire. Once everything's connected, go ahead and get yourself some heat shrink to seal everything in place. Once everything is nicely sealed, you can go ahead and start putting the panels back on the door panel and rinse and repeat for the following side. Hope you like this install video of our Westcott Design Stitch Light Brackets. And if you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. Like and subscribe for more of this content. Mm -hmm.